The kidnapping and murder of those Americans in Mexico is throwing a harsh spotlight on the billion-dollar business of medical tourism. The four victims drove from Lake City, South Carolina, 1,500 miles to Matamoros. Latavia McGee, a 33-year-old mother of six, was having a tummy tuck, paying less than half the cost in Mexico than in the U.S. She was with three male companions who were reportedly buying medical products. 15 minutes from the doctor's office, their rented white SUV was fired on by gunmen from the feared Gulf cartel that controls the border city. Two of the men were found dead today. The third was wounded. The victim who went for the tummy tuck is reportedly unharmed. She didn't want to go down by herself, you know, but she already had been out there one time, I heard. You know, so, you know, I guess you got caught. This is moments after the terrified survivors were rescued. They had been held in that red hut. Matamoros is one of the most dangerous places in the world. The State Department issued a level four do not travel advisory for Matamoros last year, a rating shared with Syria, Afghanistan and North Korea. Two million Americans travel to Mexico and other foreign nations each year for cosmetic procedures, lap band surgery, and also dentistry at bargain prices. Medical tourism is a huge industry and it's growing. Until we get costs down here in the United States, it's going to continue to grow. This company, Medical Tourism Corporation, organizes package trips for medical tourists. We provide a comprehensive health, wellness, and beauty experience. Located in Tijuana, Mexico, Los Algodones, a city of 6,000 near the California border, has 1,000 dentists who carter to medical tourists. Look at all those dental offices, one after the other. Ali Schneider is going ahead with plans to have a tummy tuck in Mexico. It is scary. I mean, at the end of the day, it is. If I could afford it, I would definitely do it in the United States. U.S. doctors say medical tourists may be taking a gamble. It's not that Mexico doesn't have amazing surgeons. They have incredible surgeons in Mexico. It's just that the patients from here don't know how to research and they're going to the wrong surgeons sometimes in Mexico. These Americans never expected this.